example two before it, uh, office hours begin. It's going to be very similar to um, example one. Oh, look, the office hours is going to start in 15 minutes. So let's make a video. Um, could have already had this put in place. Ta-da! And um, we don't need to do the scaling thing. Um, I am going to get out of this sketch and make it into inches. Okay, so um, I can make another sketch. I might as well make another sketch. I don't have to have this thing on top of there. Okay, so now um, doesn't have to be perfect, but these they do need to be the same length. So these two links right here. Let's figure out what they, they are. Uh, it's close to seven. Boom. Uh, so make this one seven. Let's move this back right there. Let's fully define these links so that they don't go floating around. Um, I don't care what this angle is, just accept whatever it ends up being. I don't care what this angle is. Um, let's see. Oh, and I do, oh, I'm going to fix that point. I didn't know. Let's fix that point. Okay, so now uh, we're going to proceed with um, the instructions that we were given uh, to do a quick return mechanism. I think this is example like three, example three nine in the book. Um, we draw a line here, they say, to any convenient point, um, and then we'll extend that line, right? So uh, we want this to be, for our quick return, we did a, a calculation and found that this construction angle needs to be 20 degrees, right? And we can place this anywhere that's convenient. It's convenient to me to make these in line with each other. So I'm going to make this, this is going to be the ground link. I'm going to make it horizontal right there. If that doesn't work um, because of Grashoff, I might need to revisit it. In order to decide the other lengths of these things, right here, um, we have a, uh, uh, we have, whoops, whoops, I didn't make that horizontal. Make it horizontal, boom. All right. Um, so we make, with that circle right there, we've made that uh, radius. Um, this is like one of the rules that we have to do. And in order to decide the crank length and um, its buddy, the uh, uh, coupler length, we could do simultaneous solution of um, the, the equation. Um, let me double check here. Yeah, the length of this length right there um, equaling L3 plus L2, right? Because that's the extent. Like, what we're going to call this O2 right down this spot. I just don't have a plate way to, to label it. Um, but from here to right here, no, no, from here to right here is um, something that is supposed to equal L3 plus L2. From right here to right here is supposed to be L2, no, L3 minus L2. But they also show in the figure that you could also go up to here and get the midway point in between these two lines right there. So, because we're doing this graphically, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, do that. And um, let's get uh, uh, for um, decimal places. So what we could do is, well, just for graphical sake, we will have um, these two lines right here. And I will define this length to be 2.1372, right? Um, and once again, this is just to double check and show you uh, that it works. Uh, the, the, uh, yeah, we, we don't have to do this next step to set this thing up. Um, let 
let's draw uh, construction lines that extend this to here. Make that collinear with that. Let's do another construction line from right here to right there. Make that collinear. Oops, why am I doing that for? Collinear. And if we take and we take a look at our um, angles, uh, we're going to move from this line to that line should be 200 degrees. And from this line to this line should be 160 degrees, and they are. So that was the process of making this a quick return. The, now, um, we can follow the, what we did before, so this isn't like necessary and something I probably wouldn't do in class. But as a demonstration that this works here, right here, we can um, go and do what we did before right here. So we'll save this and we'll make this, um, uh, uh, this is class for example two link, example two link one. I mean, you know, uh, let me copy that right there because it'll be easier uh, later on. So I'm going to save that as, and then we'll go save as, continue. It's going to be link two. We'll make it here, and then save as, save a copy, and open link three. I should probably make a new folder for this. It's probably the right thing to do, just to keep from uh, having to. Um, what did I do? I just lost my, my place. I guess I, I was out link four, right? OK. Oh, did I make a copy? I think. See, when you talk, see, you uh, talk and I think I forgot to uh, get link three. So um, that was example two, link three. OK. So let me go back to link one and make a sketch on the front plane. Link one is going to be from here to here. Uh, what is a sensible width for this? Oh, uh, 0.5? Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll make this, make these, I'll make, probably make them 0.25 again. This is totally arbitrary, by the way. That doesn't matter. matters by what size of um, actually pins you want to use. Okay, so with that, extrude, boom, save, link two, do the same thing, excite, link two is right here to here. Three goes from here to here. Is we talking about something? What do you want to talk about? I should wear a funny hat if I have something on here. Be fun to wear a funny hat. So this is something you could fast forward through. So I recorded this video already and got stuck on something. So. It's my second time recording. I decided I would rather have to re-record it than to edit it. That's how lazy I am. And now last is going to be link four. Right? So that's actually the thing that we're uh, doing. Let's see. The, uh, we could call that the output. Um, link. Oh, I forgot to make my circles. Uh, no, not him. Oh, him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You hear my 
the 3D printer in the background instead of obscuring the things. Um, okay. And uh, probably would have been smart to hide that. Hide that. Okay. Save. Go back and do that to link three. Hide. Hide. Save. Link two. Hide. 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 Who? And then um, even on link one, uh, we don't really need to see this sketch. We really just want to see that figure right here. So we'll save, go new, assembly, kaboom. I think in the previous video, this guy's kind of hide behind this thing, and that that the sketch right, the the, the uh, figure right there, kind of makes it hard to see sometimes. So we'll hide uh, this temporarily. So um, mates, mate. to do this during an exam, right? Just to say, hey, make a, an assembly, uh, make a video. You can make a video for an exam question, final exam question. Um, did I mess that up? No, okay, we're good. And uh, I have, say, move, move a box from right here to right here with a quick return. Make an AVI. Could have like a film festival thing. Right, okay. So, um, we'll see that's in the, the uh, we, we drew it down in the toggle position. Notice. Put this guy back in here and let's see what the quick return looks like in this thing. Uh, um, when we go to the uh, SolidWorks motion. I'll do the motion analysis right here. Um, I think I forgot in the previous one to um, actually do some analysis onto this. So let me let me do that this time. Um, make this twenty. Boom. And calculate. And um, well, I wish I went around another time. So you can kind of see how fast it is moving uh, back and forth. But um, to do the analysis instead, to, to do a um, pick a point right here, let's do um, let's do a velocity and do uh, uh, acceleration. So we want to, I guess we, we could do the x direction. Maybe we'll do the x direction. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pick that right there, that edge, or I could pick a point. It's better to pick a point, uh, I think. With respect to that, I think that's what this usually is. What does it say? There's a component to define the x, y position. I think that way. All right, let's 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 see if that does it. Yeah, so you can see um, the velocity of the thing in the x direction. Um, on its return, right? So, uh, well, let's let's take a look at the thing. Um, let's plot it out right here. Let's put it side by side. And when you hit um, play right here, hmm. let me see. I'm gonna try to do an analysis of this right here. When you hit play in the x direction. You know what might help? Let's let's make this into the magnitude right here. So um, I think that I can come down and I can go to results and plot, and I think I can edit feature here. Okay, so my office hours have just begun. 
So let me go here and figure out if I could do that magnitude instead. Boom, okay. So you can see the magnitude of the velocity here is more than right there. So that's really what's showing us it's the quick return. So let's look, let's watch, watch the, it's going slow, back, fast, slow. All right, so that magnitude did show it was a quick return. So there you go, that's the, uh, and, and by the way, that ratio should be that 1 to 1.25, right? Because that's what the uh, uh, example had. So thanks for uh, listening, and uh, we'll upload this video too. Done.